When was the last time you cleaned your laser head? And I mean the lens and the nozzle with the, for the air assist. Let me here show you why you need to do that periodically. Okay, I got some laser heads sitting here. And this is why it's important to clean even when you use air assist. And I use air assist on all of my lasers, all of my dial lasers, blue dial lasers. Uh, my infrared I don't use air assist on because I don't need it. But this here is a, uh, which one is this? This is a 40 watt. It's, I've had quite a, done quite a bit of use with it. As you can see here, that hole is starting to get uh, build up around it and I've actually have had this almost close up once even though the air is coming out as that smoke comes up it still gets up in there and it makes that hole a little smaller. This is a uh, 30 watt and even though the hole is bigger there is a whole lot of build up around it and you need to clean that off from time to time. And this one here is an Ortur, this is a 10 watt off of an Ortur laser. And you can see here where that buildup is starting to get up inside where you really, really don't want it because it'll start to affect your beam. It also affects the airflow. So as far as actually cleaning the lens, uh, generally when you're using air assist all the time, you will not need to clean the lens very often to do it. On this particular one here, on the Ortur, and this unscrews. And I can see my lens is a little bit cloudy, it's way down in there. So what do I use to clean the lens? To clean the lens itself, I use uh, some tissues that are designed for my camera lenses. Don't just grab a blue shop towel and some soap or something. You want to use something that's made for fine optics. So I need to get into cleaning this one. Now I know to uh, get the air assist nozzle off of the longer lasers, there's four screws you take off down in here. And then there is a uh, set screw on the side of the uh, nozzle right there. And what I've tried doing is just loosen the set screw and see if I can get this up and flip it, and I can't really do that. So you do need to take them four screws out, be able to take this bottom shroud off to get in to clean that. Okay, now for just cleaning the outer part of this, I use, this is isopropyl alcohol in here and a little pump dispenser. You can get these little pump dispensers at Dollar Tree, bucket a quarter. And I just take a blue shop towel This, as, as you pump this, it puts alcohol onto your... And I just take that and I can wipe that all down. And once I get all the crud off, microfiber towel. You can also clean your little lens on the front there, your little viewing window. Those can get gunked up from smoke. Now getting back to the Ortur here, see the lens is way down in there and you can use microfiber for that as well. Get a little bit of alcohol on that, get it down in the hole, give it a good cleaning down in there. Well I took that right off, excellent. Then let's take a dry part of it. Perfect. Now I'll just clean the rest of the nozzle off here with the blue shop towel and the alcohol. Dry that off. Screw the air nozzle back in. It also helps if you put this in the right direction. There we go, back in business. There's just a little quick tip on cleaning the lens of your laser and the, the head on it and where your, even the air assist nozzle. You can say that little hole can get plugged up 
If you start to notice that the performance of your laser is degrading and you think the head's going out or you've worn the head out, uh, clean it. You know, I, I've learned that a long time ago, with, uh, especially with my X-Tools before I had the air assist on them. I thought, wow, you know, this is not doing so well all of a sudden. And I take it off and look at it and go, wow, that's dirty. And it's extremely important on my Monport CO2 laser. Uh, before I put the air assist on that, I was constantly having to clean that lens. Almost every project, I'd have to clean the lens, and it's, it was a real pain. The air assist helps, helps greatly. You don't necessarily need to use the air assist just for cutting. If I'm doing uh, engraving on wood, and we do a lot of it here, I always have that air assist running. It keeps the smoke blowing away from the lens. A lot longer time between lens cleanings. So this is a little quick tip. Got anything out of that? Appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.